to JFK. Make place. sure you go to the right airport. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, don't put that shit out there. She over there clicking her heels. Home, home, home. Right. <laughs> when I think of home, I think of a place where there is. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong airport. Yeah, wrong part. Okay. Wrong part. <laughs> when I think of home. <laughs> hey, community. Here's what's brewing today. Beyonce Parkwood Festival? Ask your aunties how to be an ally. And go fucking vote. Period. So get your cups ready and your votes ready for Minority Report. Hey, hey, welcome to Minority Report. It's Auntie Carell. It's Auntie Dewan. And it's Auntie Jarrell. What it do? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, we already cutting up. We already hey, cutting up. Look. <laughs> Can I just say I'm happy to have really good intranets going on right now because yeah, we recorded some like we pre-recorded some episodes and I was in a hotel <laughs> and I didn't tell y'all this but like I couldn't for some reason my computer would not connect to their internet because there was some kind of a pop-up blocker that I couldn't figure out. And you know, when you connect to an internet at a hotel, they sometimes have a thing that says, and your, yeah. you know, your name and your oh, room yeah, number yeah, or whatever, yeah. that thing was not popping up. I had did everything I could, but it wasn't popping up. So she had to like connect her internet from her computer to her cell phone via the hotspot. Oh, you was hotspot. I was hotspot because baby, that was the only Damn. way I, it was going to happen. And that there were other ones. That makes sense why the cl- the collapse came two two days later, and it was like like two years yeah. later. Yeah, <laughs> it was like that is... <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like leave with it. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to y'all for like, I mean, we busted out four whole goddamn episodes. We did putting up with my shenanigans. Now, <laughs> usually. Usually this is when we be dragging Landon for, but right, I'm gonna right. take them licks. I'm gonna take them right. licks this time You're around right. because I deserved it. Wait, yes. wait, I'm but good. then it also started yeah, with the time oh, zone difference. <laughs> I was oh, girl. That up. Girl. So we might as well just rip the whole veil up. So come here, you know, we normally take December off because you know we we, we do this all every, week in week out. Every day. But usually we pre-record, you know, December and like our holiday episode and our uh, best ofs and things like that. So we did that this last weekend. And Miss Shar over here, time and numbers aren't her like forte. And names. (laughs) And self-admittedly. Right, right. (laughs) Self-admittedly. She is aware of her faults. And, you know, these are not things that can be trained or taught. It's just how I'm wired. And I'm just... and she's normally not late to things. <laughs> or if she's going to be, it might be like a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, we're waiting and we're like, okay, this seems a little <laughs> abnormal. And so literally 30 minutes go by and we're like, okay, we need to go, like, we need to go find Auntie Char. Like this hoe, like got kidnapped <laughs> or Look, something. <laughs> the way Corel was like, Inspector Gadget, bitch, Scooby Doo in the game, like, and she haven't been on Instagram since nine like, hours oh. ago. Right. I don't like her. She always got something to say. Like, because <laughs> usually she send us something or you know uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and a I responsible like, individual, off. and if I'm we gonna be late, concerned. I'm gonna exactly. let the let the dolls know. And then I was like, wait, you know what? I guarantee you, she don't got the <laughs> got the time zone no mixed up. And sure enough, <laughs> that's what it was. She like, I don't woke up just now. <laughs> Just say, why and, everybody calling me? Like, damn. <laughs> ain't gonna lie, I got like hella phone calls. And you know, my phone doesn't necessarily <laughs> ring on a Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, like like that. And I had so many, like there was stuff going on with the family and you know, <laughs> my sister and my mom were getting into it or whatever. And then, you know, y'all were calling and uh, <laughs> 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 and I'm just I'm laughing to myself because even before that I said, "Hey y'all, hoes, we can't be <laughs> we can't right." Be so did yeah. <laughs> so like I, did, I, did, I did, did bring it up. Over. <laughs> like, 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 
He said, we need to be strictly on the time because I'm out west. Da, 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 da. It was like, okay, cool. We can make it happen. I didn't bring it up. I, I so Girl, thought it, though. I, I did, <laughs> too. I did, too. <laughs> so he, he was kind enough to give us an extra 30 minutes on the tail end. <laughs> oh, I was kind enough to give you as much time as we as we needed to record them episodes because my ass was... <laughs> I was in the wrong. That is so funny. So, that yeah, is so a level just... of maturity that some of y'all have yet to aspire to. Girl. Girl. But you know what? Look, <laughs> some of but... them out there. I'm not talking about on right. the, po- on the right. podcast. Let's be clear. When I'm doing the drive-bys, I'm right. hitting the aunties. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to right, record with y'all hoes. <laughs> but some of y'all out um, there. <laughs> right, right. Be late. But honestly, I can't wait for y'all to hear those episodes. They're good. <laughs> yeah, look, they really are. They really they gave you everything you wanted out of all of our so podcasts. Good. We gave it to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so that's a, a little peek behind the curtain. And, and I guess to show you how soon and early we <laughs> record those episodes. Because, baby, the holidays come and they just get crazy. So, like, well, literally, a it. week, like, days after this come out, it's November. Right. Yeah. Like, like how? this episode comes out and it's November. How yeah. is it that February is the shortest month of the year, but it feels like it's twenty? It's a whole quarter, and then you get to <laughs> October, and it's October first, then it's October thirty first. Like, how yeah. does that work? It gets it goes from like June first to like October thirty first, <laughs> like that, like, <laughs> like that time frame, like, like Pride Month, like say like Memorial Weekend to like now, blur. August blur. is Honestly. always a blur. August is always a blur. And it's interesting. I normally feel different. I I feel like the summer, I actually feel three months of summer. I think this oh, is the really? first time where I felt like it was just six weeks. Yeah. Mm. Max six weeks for all of summer. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like my trip to Italy was like a week and a half ago. But it's just been over a month. Yeah. Uh, like it's been a, I'm just like it's been so long since I've so traversed the, since I went to since I traversed the Atlantic Ocean <laughs> girl I'm happy with draws shoot I know look, we don't I need just, to know I what kind of underwear you wearing I know right. why I you I know why you be up in the air like that okay I know why you get your status every motherfucking year because if you ain't on them planes yeah. not traveling somewhere is a whole different story it is just I'm just back at home. And Lord, thank you for my home. I like my home. That ain't me complaining. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Look, but sometimes he, I like to be outside my home. Look, hey. Because he'll be like, you say what, huh? Right. He'll be like, say less. I, nope. I'm nope. I it. love it. Thank look. you, Jesus. <laughs> hey, them trips. Listen, there is nothing like having something to look forward to. And I think maybe yeah. because like the fall, you know, like we we've all have been out of school for a while. And even though no one really looks forward to going to school, you look forward to like spending time with your friends and all that kind of stuff and or whatever. And your new, and your new outfit. Right. Mm-hmm. Like there, there are just things that you're like anytime you have something to look forward to. And I'm yeah. just not talking about a holiday. I mean, the holiday is always going to be there and they're, and they're coming out. But like to have something that you're looking forward to is just I don't know. It, it, it does make the times when you ain't got shit else going on or nothing like major yeah. going on, it does make it go kind of faster because you're like, oh, I can't wait to get to, can't wait to get to this, can't wait to get to that. And then next thing you know, yeah. you're there. Unlike yeah. Traverse, yeah. when like you are a kid and you're getting ready, you're like thinking about Christmas and it like takes forever. Cause that's, you know, like it a does. big thing that you're really, most of us are really only looking forward to is like, okay, well, yeah. I can't wait for Christmas. Can't wait for Christmas break. And he's like, it be taking forever. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I do got shit planned up. Like the, the day this episode comes back, yeah, hopefully I'm not missing. Pray for me, because I'm going to be doing some white people shit. But I'll be out in Denver, Colorado, and we we going to a EDM concert at the Red Rocks. Okay. And uh, I actually, that's on my getting, list to do. This conversation is getting really white. Keep going. Right. Let me right. Tell you. EDM <laughs> Let in me Denver tell you. at the Red Rocks. Yeah, that's yes. a trifecta right there. But yeah. I hear that stadium is like that area is like incredible that's literally it's been on my list of one of the places that i want to see as a music venue yeah because you you know we love to go to some concerts right right so i feel like the people that i normally listen to they ain't gonna be outside like that at the red rocks being like "Mm, mm, mm, mm." 
<laughs> so this was one of those times why I'm doing specifically white people stuff because that's the only way I'm going to be able to see somebody at the Red Rocks. Do y'all think that Beyonce at Coachella, sorry to bring it back to Beyonce. Um, oh, but, always you know. do. No, no apologies <laughs> no, necessary. But, sorry. Sorry. As you should. Girl, you better. That's a great pivot. Do you, you mean? Yeah. Do you think that, that Beyonce at Coachella was the last time that she's going to be ever at a festival in her career? That's a good question. <clears throat> you know, when she's, you know, when she's in her, her coasting yeah, that's years. It. No, I, because even her coasting years, the pe people yeah, gonna show up. She gonna be like Tina Turner, I, I like on that ledge going uh, over the stadium. Yep. <laughs> Let yep. me tell you, okay, that's literally what I was thinking about. Okay, that's literally what I was thinking about because I was I was trying to name an icon who on last last legs was still doing music festivals, but I mean, who? Be, it might, it might be. be who? <laughs> who? I the only thing I can icons. think of is Lil, if Lil she Kim, wants to be super. Will be. Oh, we said we said, we said icons. We said icons. Oh, oh, oh. wasn't me. Y'all heard right. it. <laughs> <laughs> they go to Night Rider. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. You right though, but it wasn't me. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you got. I can no, 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 no. You have to have longevity to be an icon. Where she been? Oh damn. What's Sierra? At least Sierra, at least Sierra outside. Sierra, right? Sierra out yeah. here touring. At least this is true. This still is true. putting she, music she, out. Yeah, still yeah. getting some type of coins. <laughs> yeah, damn. But you know, you might be right. The only thing I can think of is is she feels like being petty and going to like a stagecoach or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like they'd be like, "Oh, y'all didn't want to nominate me for shit," and, and it might even be ten years from now that she hit mm -hmm. us back with some pettiness. Like mm -hmm. it'd be like, "Oh, I, I ain't forgot." <laughs> But uh, but other than that, it might be because she's done every other major festival. I guess she, I don't think she ever did Lala, but I don't even think she would do Lala Palooza at this point. I, I just can feel see like her she's... doing her. I can see her doing her own, like being like, yeah. I'm gonna do my own music I festival, right and that. I'm gonna Parkwood cure Wood Festival. Yep. You Park heard Wood it here festival. first. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly. And you know yeah. where it'll be at? Houston. Houston, yeah. Texas, yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's I the, could that's the only 1, thing I see. percent the, but I do I. I was thinking about this the other day, and when you mentioned, you know, the, the EDM stuff, because I was thinking about, like, this other, like, Defective Records, which is more like, you know, house music. It's not like EDM, but it's also not, not like, it's more like yeah. house mm -hmm. and vibey kind of music. Yeah. Um, and I've been wanting, I don't go to a lot of concerts normally. Um, last year was kind of a little bit of a, an anomaly for me, but um, I really want to go to a Defective Records concert. Um, or, you know, like festival or whatever. And I was just thinking like, hmm, was that the last time that we would ever see Beyonce in that kind of, you know, venue that not saying like open concert arena area, but more like on a festival circuit kind of a thing. Yeah. Mm. Would that be the last time we would ever see her doing something like that? Yeah, that's a good yeah. question. That's a very good yeah. question. She ain't doing I'm Essence Fest. Saying. Stop. I mean, no, it's true. It's no, I'm, like, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to like, like, like cachet. Well, well, I just like, logistically, just logistically, I just, I, 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 I feel like her doing essence would take away from essence. Like, I, I honestly, I think it would be more about her than it would be about the Essence Festival. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I mean, she takes the essence away from everybody. <laughs> they ain't okay. taking for nobody else Pretty but much. her. When she there. Much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. But I love, I love what you said about like. Because I could see that. I could see, like, you know, with with all the things that Jay-Z and his team has learned in managing the half, you know, the halftime show um, and just, you know, with working with their production crews on putting together, like, concert series. Yeah, he and did Made in America all those years. They didn't do it the last maybe two years here in Philly, but the Made Made for America Festival, Jay-Z put that on here for Philly. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, they have, they have at least... yeah the knowledge of how to throw something. Yeah. And she knows how to find the right people to always execute oh, her vision. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. And even if she isn't, even if she doesn't perform, like I could see her per certainly like doing a cameo or, or drive by or a song or whatever, like in the Houston, if, if it is like a festival that does um, yeah. move around, you know, from like mm -hmm. city to city. But if it's just based in Houston, you know, over a couple of days, it would be cool if she like, you know, did a drive by, but like that would be a, I could only imagine the curation of artists mm -hmm. that would be invited to participate. So intentional. 
so intentional. It's so going to be it's going to be an experience. Yeah. And I, honestly, and we know this because of how she rolls out her music. Like when it comes to execu- her music execution, you understand the intention that she has behind whatever it is that she puts out there. So when okay. it comes to music and a music festival, you already know, bitch. Grab your popcorn, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, music and you don't want to get like your sacred. tickets. You do not <laughs> want to miss it. <laughs> Look, because and let's be and let's be honest. Hair products if the, and if the Renaissance <laughs> tour gave us that feeling yeah. in the three and a half hours that it was, okay? And she said, you know herself, what? I'm gonna get, let y'all perform on this Renaissance stage by herself. Bitch, let her get her hands on a three day music festival. I mean, I People can go, only trans- imagine. You're going to transcend, but you, you're going to yeah. just... Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You're going to transcend like Jarrell at that EDM concert in the Red Rocks. <laughs> yeah, I hope I come back, y'all. I hope I come back. This she's gonna, not this afraid of some mushrooms, so, you know, right, it's not like... That's what I mean. Going, yeah, I was about to put her... trips. <laughs> look, I was about to say, I was about to put a business out there, but... <laughs> I'll be, look, I'll be, I'll be in orbit. I'll be in orbit. Look, yeah. just... You yeah. see me, and on top of that, y'all, I'm going to this Charlie XCX Troy Sivan concert like tomorrow from oh, when we're recording you are, you as well a whole too. White weekend, interesting <laughs> because um, Charlie X S E X, excuse me, um, she actually just pr- they whomever because I don't um, she her pronouns she her okay. pronouns. I um, looked it up. Charlie just performed in San Diego this past weekend, mm. and I heard. <laughs> You heard it wasn't that great. Well, <laughs> let me, I'll say this. Shout out to I my boo Haynes. <laughs> I, shout out to my boo Haynes. All I'm going to say is shout out to my boo Haynes because he gave us free VIP general admission tickets. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, so, you ain't got nothing I to lose, baby. So, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Because that's what I said. Okay. But then I sit there and I said, after I said yes, I was like, She's she walking around there. She just I still look. All I still know is boom clap. Okay, <laughs> that's right, right. That's right. the only song I still really know about her. So uh, look, I only know that and whatever that new one, Apple or something like that. Apple, that be playing look, everywhere. Yeah. Look, but Which I know twice. Bop. I'm not gonna lie it, though. It, it is. <laughs> kind of, so I've been listening to her music a little bit. I'm like, okay, I get it. I'm just never in the mind space or the physical space mm, where her yeah. music is what I'm looking for. Right. If that makes yeah. sense. So yeah. I've been going through her her set playlist on Apple Music. I get it. I'm yeah. kind of into it. But y'all, the way I know, I'm going to look like somebody daddy on the floor next <laughs> to all these Gen Z kids. Yeah, and I'm going to yeah. be like, Lord, here we go. But yeah, let me tell yeah. you, I did the same thing for Harry Styles. <laughs> same thing for Sean Mendes. Push these little white girls out the way. Move, bitch. Like for fucking white chicks. <laughs> right. <laughs> look, right. Because right. look, I'm going to be know, up I- there. I didn't even talk about like going to the Stevie Wonder and the JT uh, finale uh, of all that uh, fiasco. Talking about all these concerts, because um, it made me think of just like the different crowds that you were talking uh-huh. about, Charlie <laughs> XCX. So literally back to back went to JT on Friday and Stevie Wonder on Saturday and talk about the juxtaposition of crowds, especially from the previous concerts I've been to the last like couple months. It's always interesting to see the crowds that show up to certain certain artists. Mm-hmm. And so, like, for Justin, so community, you heard me bitching about how he canceled the New Jersey show. I was able to find, and actually, I need to check my credit card. So Ticketmaster was supposed to refund me finally mm-hmm. from that show and then ended up buying tickets to the Philly show. Mm-hmm. Great concert. Justin puts on a very good concert. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I didn't realize his, his concert was going to be that white. <laughs> like, I thought... Since he had been gentrifying R and B for so long, it was gonna be kind of like half and half. Mm-hmm. It was maybe like. Wait, you think he been in R and B? When he been in R and B? What what's you song? Know, what's what's that? You know, some R and B back. Especially the first album um, is a very R and B album. Is, this is a I note mean, to the producer I, of this show. We need to actually, get all his songs. All his songs got some R and B in it. Mm, especially this is the an... first like three albums. Mm-mm. I, I have an... every song on all three of those albums. I may give you some songs off of the uh, the 2020 experience. He may that have a couple of sure. like Strawberry Bubblegum. Stra- oh, I was going to say Strawberry okay. Bubblegum. That's a bop of a song. Okay. <laughs> I give, I, look, maybe the 2020 experience, but Future Sex Love songs still has more of that popish elements to it, and so does yeah. the Justified album. Still have well, I mean, like, much... Whenever you with the Neptunes and Timberland, their roots are rap and R&B, so they're going to give you a little Little, a little flavor of black people, whatever it may be. 
we gonna have to we gonna have to do we gonna have to make a part two of this because now I got some questions. We need to have a music that the Neptune was in Timberland ain't rapping <clears throat> RB. Neptune's Timberland, yes, but Pharrell Williams is mostly the person who's been doing a lot of work with Justin Timberlake. Okay? No, Timberland does more than. <clears throat> For real. No, no, not as of lately. The first two albums, absolutely Timberland. But Timberland has not touched a JT project since this last, the last album that came. He, just right. this last one. But there was two other albums before that. Because the nigga was lost in the woods. And that's why it fucking tanked. Timberland was on that album. No, he, not as much as the... Baby. He ain't, he ain't on the... He's on... Actually, he has, he's on this one. Baby, this last one he came out, yes, Timberland came back. But the man in the woods he did filthy ain't had no on the last one. The man of the woods, which and is still pop. Was... That ain't R and B. Filthy. Mm -hmm. That's danger. Tim. Okay, we're gonna have to. That's, nah, we're gonna have to curb that. Nah, couple. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The part two. <laughs> <'Cause> we, that <laughs> might take the rest of this episode, girl. <laughs> So I'm about to get the Dewan and. <laughs> so I have, a, I, I have a note for the producer of this episode. We need to invent. We, we need to invent and interject a drive-by sound effect. <laughs> After everyone and them slide through, we need. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, Damn. I would have thought it would have been maybe, especially in Philly, maybe like 60, no, maybe like 75, 25. It was a good 90% plus white. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of girls that I probably went to college with white, like coming mm -hmm. back and living their NSYNC in uh, JT early day yeah. lives. So I was like, damn. So I was looking at Corey, especially at something like, you know, the DJ always plays shit before he comes out on stage or whatever. And the choice of song selection, I'm like, oh, damn. Damn. I don't know. Chumbo what Wumba. I was what, what was that song? <laughs> ch 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 Chumbo, yeah, Chumbo I mean, Wumba. It was the spectrum. <laughs> it was the spectrum. But I was like, oh, damn, they playing these. Like, it would be like Blink 182. Right. So, no, no. I was like, oh, my God. And then he was like, mix it with like some like, beat or something like that i'm like oh damn it okay this is this is what this, this crowd is, is. Mm -hmm. got it got it and that's coming from like seeing like nikki this year maxwell and shit like that like where's like black <laughs> like especially black the maxwell show was like black yeah <laughs> so then the next night to go to the stevie wonder show which was a completely different crowd it was like the average age was probably like 55. <laughs> <laughs> but the C, Steve, like, there's very few people that I go to a concert where I'm like, oh, the C, Stevie Wonder finally lied and sound good. And so I know mm -hmm. a few episodes we're yeah, like, we talked about like that, that performance. Luther, Stevie. Mm -hmm. Stevie sounds spectacular at 74 fucking years old. Wow. wow. Like, we were sitting there like, whoa. Like, he puts more more into his concerts than, like, what you see on these, like, award shows. Okay, because I'm going to say award this, shows, you're like, he's like, this, bitch, There was an award show this year that we were like, ooh. Yeah. I forget no. what show it was, but okay. When he said, I'm the entertainer, and this is my concert, mm -hmm. baby, I'm going to show you. I still got these vocals. Look, this motherfucker he, was doing the runs, was hitting these highs. I was like, he and like it he took me back. And he sang Ribbon in the Sky, and lately, like, he did, like, this, the, the, the deep R&B like cuts i was like oh my god it was stevie fucking wonder and there's very few people that i go to a concert where i'm sitting there like oh my god stevie did it for me stevie fucking did it for me it was everything it was simple it was like he well not even simple because he had an orchestra he had probably like a 20-piece band he had like six to eight background singers and then he had all his keyboards and pianos but he commanded that stage and controlled that room with the best of them and i was mm -hmm. sitting there like wow i'm so glad that i got to see him before he either hang, hung it up or passed away or anything like that so if you're able to see him by the end of this year i think he's doing it maybe another few weeks here worth every fucking dime like it was incredible incredible okay. and so i still put stevie above luther for my favorite <laughs> male singer yes wow yep yeah, it confirmed it for me. Mm. I was like, this motherfucker is singing his face off. <laughs> singing his face off. I was like, how is he still hitting these notes at 74? At 74 and blind and moved around. The keyboard's like nothing. Like, it was crazy to me to see in person. So, whew. 
So it's a little different than Charlie XCX, but I'll take Stevie any day. Mm. <laughs> oh Lord! So we ain't even talking about nothing on this list. Let's see here. So wait, what we got? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, uh, God, stuttering. Mm -hmm. Halloween just passed, or at least the big weekend of it. I guess Halloween is this Thursday. But uh, are y'all doing anything major for Halloween? Are y'all dressing up this year? I'll be in Palm Springs Pride. Uh, yeah. And uh, we're doing a, a group, a Marvel group costume. So there's 28 Ooh. of us all going as Marvel characters. 28? 28 of us. And all of all 28 of us are doing different Marvel characters. So Who'd you end up getting? Was, Did you get Storm? Of course I get Storm. Of okay. course I got okay. Storm. Are you and the only <laughs> black person in the group? I am not the only black person in the group. Okay. What's the other black person wearing? <laughs> Um, he's going as Mystique. Ooh, that's okay. a good choice. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and is that, that it? And, nope. And then one other person's going as <laughs> as Black Real. Panther. <laughs> There's three of us, okay? There's three of us, okay? There's three of us. She just ruined my shtick. I was going to ask her right <laughs> to go <laughs> right down to <laughs> Look. <laughs> There's only three you know, of us. Well, I mean, first of all, we're talking about Palm Springs. So we already know the demographic that we're going to be around 1, with 000. to begin with. So yeah. that ain't nothing new. That and ain't nothing and new. you're coming from Washington State, which we know the demographic of there. So right. Exactly. I was just, I was exactly. just that was just a curiosity um, for your auntie. But, <laughs> see, it's, but um, so I'm going to Storm. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I normally don't dress up for Halloween just because. I don't like to put all that energy and effort into a costume for one day. Uh, but this one actually made me excited because I love Halloween. And after X-Men 97 this year, and the little gay boy in me has always loved Storm. So I feel like yeah. I'm just Thank you, like doing something for the little black gay boy yeah. in me. So like you said, thanks, Bo, because like that just gave me a little bit of permission that this year, do what little Gay Jarrell would have wanted to do when he yeah. was a little boy. And which and which storm look uh, will you after be? After she got you be her powers murdering. back. Okay. I got after she got her powers back, fish. So we got the whole black outfit. Okay. We got the crown and everything. Like we got the wig. You're gonna have to put a picture up on minority to look yes. nice to see. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Cause you know so. cause you know the last time, well maybe not the last time, but one of the times when he went out there, that's when he got his little Kim uh <laughs> his little Kim picture. That part. So <laughs> and you know I'm, Jarrell I'm, gonna have a whole photo shoot. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely going down to serve some looks. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing? Yeah, this the, what are you doing for footwear, though? Are you wearing like boot I'm heels? Wearing heels. Pumps. I'm are wearing you, boot heels. heels. Boot heels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have like these like leather stockings that are like knee high, so that thigh high, that thigh high. So they kind and of are you, are you? Yeah. Are you? Are you? Like, are you? A male ish version of yes, Storm. Yes, I'm not doing full drag. I'm not doing okay. full drag. I'm not doing yeah. any of that. Yeah. Because, you know, these are the important questions because that's oh, all yeah. that all leads mm -hmm. up to the prep work and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff that needs to, Let me tell you, needs to happen. I, like I've said on this podcast too many times, when this facial hair goes away, bitch look like Donatello from the Ninja Turtles, okay? <laughs> like, it's just... I'm sorry with you. It is just not... It, these lips <laughs> Who, by the way, way, was my bigger. favorite out of all the that's four? A, not oh, really? I love Donatello. Donatello, yeah. Because <laughs> he was a smart ass. He was an right. intellectual he was one. He was, look, okay, witting him out. Um, he had but, that yeah. big old stick and was beating people up with that shit. Period. <laughs> like, Ow. Ow. That's how Sound I beat familiar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <so> familiar. <laughs> It's giving correct. It's as the, as, as, as and the children did. say. And do. And did. <laughs> but you know, like, that is a big consideration like for you know a, a lot of gay guys that don't really do drag that often because especially if you're dressing up for halloween untucking all goddamn night first of all these costumes they got nothing. nowhere to put your cell phone your you know uh, your accoutrements or whatever so you, that's mm -hmm. a consideration and then the mm -hmm. second part of it is that when you when you have to go to the bathroom because you're going to be drinking for the most part. I mean, for those that are drinking and whatnot, you're going to be drinking that night and invariably you're going to have to go to the bathroom at some point. So getting all that shit off to mm -hmm. go to the bathroom and then try to put all that stuff together. Bitch, I'm going to push, like, I'm I'm gonna push these. Wearing them jocks or the breeze. Let me tell you, I'm going to push these you panties no to tuck, the side. You're get a meaty I'm something. pushing these panties to the side, bitch. <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. Baby. Love. Said, it's it's Palm Street Pride, baby. <laughs> No, I'm mad that I'm not going to Palm Street. This is the first year I haven't gone to Palm Street's Pride in the last three, four years. 
Yeah. And because originally we were, we were going to be out of town this week, but then now that kind of fell through. So I'm like, damn, that just messed up all the plans. <laughs> so I'm a little yeah. jealous, a little FOMO already. Damn. So now are you going to do anything for Halloween then? Since you're back no, in Philly? We were literally talking about that today. Uh, Winston was asking, he's like, what are we doing this weekend? I was like, I don't even know because we weren't even yeah. going to be here. So I was like, I have yeah. no plans, I have no costume. And like the one costume that I was thinking of doing, ah, I don't know if I got the energy to pull it off right now. Now, because like my original one, I was going to be Janet from the Control era. Oh, Lord, that <laughs> oh, that so I'm going to save that for That'd maybe next cute. year. So uh-huh. don't steal that, whoever listening out here. <laughs> um, and then the one I was going to do, if I felt like the energy was Alpha Buff, like Cynthia Revo style, and give me some oh, box yeah. braids. Yeah. But then I was like, do I really feel like put my, paint myself green and all that? Mm-hmm. No, I really don't. Like, because yeah. like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. We ain't going to half-ass nothing. No. Yeah. And that's that's what bothers me about myself. I'm not just going to put the box braids on and put the witch costume. You got to be green. Be green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't yeah. know if I got the energy in me. I don't feel like it. And then if we go out and then coming back home, maybe drunk, and then having to take it all up. Nah, I don't feel like it. Mm. I don't feel like it. So. I might just go in a t-shirt and some panties. T-shirt, a t-shirt, <laughs> wait, no. panties on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dina Howard out in these streets. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do, honestly. And but then like Corey loves Halloween, so obviously we'll pass out candy this week on actual Halloween night. So he loves that. And uh, so yeah. But anyway, community, if you have cool costumes, <clears throat> excuse me, cool costumes this year. Let us know. Send them our way. We'll post them on the stories to kind of see what the community are dressing up as this year. That'd be cute to see. Duana, are you yeah. dressing up? I know I you have, do it every once in a while. You kind of yeah. sneak out there and be like, oh, she did dress up. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I like dressing up um, Yeah, you know, for the, the holidays and whatnot. So I, <clears throat> we're going to P-Town. And, um, and next we're going to – so shout out to, to Big D. How many hey, black Derek. people in your crew? <laughs> My, that's that, that's another location. My, no, just my, my, my crew, my crew of three people. Right, one, <laughs> one. Right. So thirty percent, just okay. Look, percentage wise, you got just me. Just like my, just like my, my ancestry DNA. <laughs> I'm so done with you. I'm so done with you. So yeah, yeah. For for, for the, the the long list, long time listeners, yeah. they, they they understand where we're going. Where we're where yeah, we're going with that, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was this year. Oh, what's the last year? Mm-hmm. It was no, like two was, years ago. It was like two years ago. It was back yeah. in the day. Yeah, that was Damn. that was yeah that was that was post COVID. We couldn't go nowhere. We were, we were just trying to keep ourselves entertained. So let me see what these jeans do. Damn, <laughs> I was that like, long ago? no. <laughs> <laughs> The queen, the queen of me. <laughs> um, oh. No, but I'm so um, so um, so again. Shout out to 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 Derek. We're gonna meet up finally, and um, and P Town. He's like super excited yeah. about it, and we've been texting back and forth and whatnot. Um, That's dope. Uh, for those who don't know, um, Big D or Derek was uh, you know part of uh, Big Brother, and he was on our episode two two episodes ago. Two, yeah. yeah, two. It was Jay Monroe last week and uh, Derek before that. 296, yeah, 297. episode 296. So go back and check that, that episode. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, because yeah. we had the Crunchy Mike episode in between we, there. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so first night, and this is going to be dependent upon um, what the weather situation is, because P-Town is like, you know, a small little hamlet. You're pretty much walking up and down the streets and whatnot. But if it's going to be two degrees, mm, you know, she, she, don't, she, she does not like to suffer for her fashion. I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> but my, 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 the look that I'm hoping I'll be able to, to pull off will be, um, I'm doing the, the RuPaul, um, RuPaul racer look for my first night. Oh, that's yes. cute. So that should be fun. Um, yes. And then the second night, I'm going to do um, like a 16th century um, gay aristocrat. So I'll have like, you oh, know, a Rococo right. outfit with like, you know, a waistcoat and the white stockings and the buckle pilgrim boots and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm, I'm looking forward to oh, that's that. That's cute. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm yeah, leaning, yeah. I'm leaning into my, my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> that DNA calling you, boo. calling you. Yeah, I was gonna well, say I mean, something else, too, but I mean, now I'll leave that one alone. Right, <laughs> done, done. Oh um, but I mean, at least I'm sure the gays will be happy because a new Gaga song will be out by that time too. So I'm sure all the guys, all the gays will be playing Gaga this weekend for Halloween. So be interesting. I'm kind of interested to see what direction she's gonna, she's gonna go. 
this album because it sounds like she wants to do another album, another world tour, and then shut the shit down and get married and have kids. So it sounds like she's trying to, you know, one last big hurrah before she kind of figures out what the rest of the, the career yeah. looks like after a family. So we'll see. I hope I'm she always does... still here for a little Gaga moment, though. I hope she does something that's like super counter to everything else that's going on in pop music like that's yeah. super surprising and maybe a little bit experimental like it doesn't have to go back to like her you know like formative years i know that there was more gimmick than substance with a lot of that even though we loved it and we ate it up and all that stuff but she doesn't need to go backwards it would just be do. Well, she needs she needs to redeem she needs... herself from this Harley Quinn album that came out last month. Okay, well, she just released some trash that just came <laughs> out, and it shouldn't have came out, and it deserves to. She she needs to save face. That's why this other album is coming out so shortly. It has that last album hasn't even been out for a month, no. not even a whole month. That's yeah. how bad well, it's coming it out is. because the Joker didn't do good either. That, <laughs> that is well that too. Part. That is that well too. So she said, she... "Oh, you know what, new Gaga, <laughs> give us what we came to eat." Okay, I, I don't need what I ordered versus what I got, bitch. I ordered something that I need to bop and to get right. my life to, and yeah. that's exactly what you gonna give me. So if you got yeah. the recipe, stick to the recipe. Ain't not this is not the time to, to experiment. It's like Thanksgiving. You know how the mac give and cheese supposed to be made. Give us how it's supposed to be made. Oh, so I don't need. If it was a blank steak before we went no. for Lady Mignon's uh, no. meat dress, um, Gaga this time. <laughs> I don't need any of that other stuff. So I just hope. Mm -mm. I just hope. Because we saw this happen with Christina uh, Aguilera when Gaga was first coming out. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Christina Milian. I said, "Where's she been?" <laughs> Ooh, I almost did though. She almost it was did. On the my mouth. I almost did. <laughs> I caught this. I was like, no, that's the wrong Baby, Christina. We what is it? Well, not the wrong one. It's the right one. We are one, in but everybody's it's, heads. You know, we are in each right. heads all day today. <laughs> Baby. Um, when uh, Christina Aguilera kind of like disregarded Gaga at the beginning, I hope it's not Gaga giving us Chapel Rome light. <laughs> mm. That's what I hope it's not. Because then Gen Z is going to look at her like, Baby, that yeah. ain't it. Yeah. So just stick to, like you said, stick to Gaga. Yeah. Elevate it, whatever it is. Yeah. What we want you to do. Don't give us chaperone. We yeah. don't want hot to go. I don't need junior. her. I don't. I don't need. I don't need Charlie XCX. I don't nope. need Sabrina Carpenter. I need Lady nope. Gaga. I just need Gaga. Yeah. I just need Gaga. Question for yeah. Yeah. Question for. And this may be for the the both of y'all. Um, but I'm leaning more to you, Carell, as the resident producer. Um, because I was like, well, damn, I ain't shit. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> I did disclaim. I did disclaim at the very beginning to soften the blow, but you know, I, I know. didn't want you to feel left out, boo. You might have something. To, you might but have something. No. To but, but no. I hit you. <laughs> oh, baby, talk about. Now that would be an amazing Halloween costume as a group. That would look. Bitch. That would. Bitch. I miss Go that. down dirty shame. Oh, yeah. Miss God. Peaches. Miss Peaches. Bernard, Bernard and his boyfriend and like But whole... you gotta be in the right you gotta be in the right group. Oh, sitting, because of yeah. Yeah, because that's us. where y'all gonna be on the palm streets, they ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna get it. They won't get it. <laughs> but low key Because I was mad last though. year when they didn't get uh Sexual chocolate last year kept calling me oh, fucking uh, Rick James and shit. I'm like, yeah. no, nah, wrong mm -mm. setting. See? Yeah. And then once we finally got back in the city, yeah. where there's more black people on the streets, knew. they knew exactly. I was yeah. like, mm -hmm. thank you. So, <laughs> yeah. so if we pivot back to Gaga, yes. if you could pair her up with another producer, who would you like to pair her up with for this next song? Oh, that's a good question. My 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 gut would be it would be super cute, even though it'd be super nostalgic, but like meta and elevated. They I feel like it would be dope if she did another red one, and like get red mm -hmm. one again because oh, he yeah. hasn't done anything in a while, mm -hmm. and drop that red one mm -hmm. at, again at the beginning of a song. Uh -huh. Give you the yeah. nostalgic, and it can sound completely different, completely elevated, whatever genre you want. But I think people, I think it would like 
people would freak out about that shit. They were like, oh shit, uh oh. I think so that would right be dope that. to me. That would be fun. Um, but yeah. honestly, I mean, she's her producer choice is good. It's exactly what she she needs in her lanes. It's a, all the pop producers, so she always does like the Maxes, the the uh, she doesn't do Doctor Luke, <laughs> uh, okay. and then even a lot of the up and coming or not even up and coming anymore. A lot of them been around for a while, but um, a lot of just the up newer pop people but she, i think she does a good job actually on on who you she know who I and she it always starts with her too a lot of times she'll like have an idea she'll sound it out on a piano and then they'll kind of craft it around the initial idea so like i think she's in a good lane she knows how to make music so not a producer but you know who i want to see a collab with dochi i think a lady gaga dochi collab Ooh. would be that would be, fine. Would be, that would be different i think that very would be different really different and yeah. i think it would, and it would be, be better than the katie perry dochi version one thousand percent. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's still, it's all right it's because fine. of the sample, because it's, of the sample, it's and of the sample, and it's because of Dochi, and because of Dochi. Right. But yeah. other than that, everything else about it, mm -mm. Mm -mm. yeah. But a Lady Gaga and Dochi, yeah, would eat. That would be cute. Dochi's albums yeah. were my favorite albums of the year. Oh, oh, same, same. Yeah. I think we it's talked about my it on number here. two. I can't remember. It's, yep, it's my number it's two. One of my favorite. Still, Ariana Grande, Internal Sunshine. That's a good album. It's a good album. It's still a good album. And Dochi's Alligator Bites Never Heal. Those are my top two albums. Those are my top two albums of the year. And Kimmy, we'll probably do one. We didn't do it in our best of, but before we get to those episodes, we'll probably do maybe something of our like our favorites of the year. like music and and i don't watch a lot of that's why i said we need to do another we need to do another music like episode that, so. that's why i yeah, said that earlier yeah. we need to do another music episode we'll do that yeah yeah but um but yeah no I, gaga 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 knows what she's doing she knows how to make music so mm -hmm. i'm not too worried at all yeah. and, and it might not be it might not knock us out like we want from gaga anymore and honestly i don't know if i expect that really like after you've been in it so long like just make a good solid song honestly like it and it's gonna be hard for her to shock us. She's yeah. done every fucking thing, <laughs> including wearing a meat dress. It could be literally. It, it could be. I think. I think a Gaga and a Morpheus could be an interesting collaboration, just mm -hmm. to bring a little bit of that like young, fresh hip hop energy into kind of like a style that doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. lean in that direction. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not suggesting that she, you know, that her music has to go. But it I, again, I just think about like how they think and operate it and put music together, it could be an interesting collaboration. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the song's called Disease, so I'm, I'm, and like, she already has like cryptic websites and everything out there, so I'm seeing that start to go. So she's starting to roll it out there, so we'll see. So, new Gaga, yeah. <laughs> new Gaga. And on that note, <laughs> let's take a quick little tea break. <laughs> hey, community. A lot of you have asked how you can support Minority Report outside of the sharing and downloading and subscribing and leaving reviews, but you can also buy merch. Come on, baby. I know that's right. And we have a whole lot of options from clothing to pillows to tumblers and bags. And we continue to update all of our stuff with new styles, new colors, and new products. Jarrell, where can they get all that stuff at? Well, they can get all that and then some at MinorityReport.com. They can find all the goodies, find all additional information about your aunties. And we also want to make sure that you share and tag us when you do buy merch, all right? So let us know if it's a hoodie, it's a tee, a long shirt, a towel, because we know you need those. But let us know. <laughs> Absolutely. And remember to wash your hands, your legs, and your ass. All right, ladies, we haven't done this in a minute. In a minute. I'm excited. What time is it? Ask, Ask your, your aunties. aunties. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Community. We just need more Ask Your Aunties. That's why we haven't done it in a while. It's y'all's fault. It's y'all's fault. Like that, but, right, it's y'all. Why are you playing? <laughs> it ain't us. And, uh, this it's y'all. Right. And this is a T-line one. So, again, you know, we love hearing from the from the T-line. So, here we go. And hopefully I have it set up correctly that we all hear it. Hi, aunties. My name is Gwen. I have a question. Um, I am wondering how do allies go to like uh support um or be a part of queer events or queer spaces how do they go to those spaces without taking up space if that 
makes sense. That is my question for you. Mm. Thanks for everything that you do. Mm. Oh, thanks, Gwen. Like uh, thanks, Gwen. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I feel like this is coming at me for all the times I've been fishing the phone. Because <laughs> I could already hear Corel say, stay at home. Stay at home. <laughs> Not gonna... that's, that's the initial reaction. But right. I don't know. No. No. Um, <clears throat> honestly, for me, I think the best way as an ally to show up is if you're going to a queer space, you need to be a plus one of a queer person in the space that you're going to, f first and foremost. Okay, um, if it's not if 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 you're not going with someone, then you shouldn't be going. Period. And then also too, just being respectful of the energy and how people are moving in that space that you're occupying as well too. If they op operate in a different frequency, match it, okay? And that's that's the level that you need to be at. But what you don't need to do is take who you are and make a scene that's not about you, about you. And I think that is a way how you can show up and support in real time as an ally while respecting someone else's space. It's like, and I don't know you like that, Gwen, but at least in black culture, you, when you go to somebody's house, you respectful, right? You take off your shoes, you, you speak follow to their everybody house rules, there. you acknowledge everybody in the mm -hmm. room, et cetera, right? You don't act crazy. You would treat it, uh, and I stopped saying this, because people used to say, treat your, someone else's home like you treat your home, and some people dirty, so. Treat it better. Treat it even better, <laughs> okay? Work for the invite back and it was, yeah. I, what I can serve because, you know, you can be asked to leave and, and, and be like, and don't ever come back. So just be respectful. Yeah, I think that's, that's really, me. I think that's really good advice. Um, <clears throat> I think just to, to add on to that, I think allies are welcome. Allies are welcome um, and I think to Jarrell's point, it's not about like you making the event about you. And I feel like because shows like Drag Race and, and other, you know, kind of like queer um, community focused centered shows make the life and our experiences seem so accessible that mm. people feel um, <laughs> Uh, empowered, I'm going to say empowered, to bring their authentic selves to these spaces and they forget where they are. Mm -hmm. And so, That's bingo. Mm -hmm. you know, like there's a, like as an example, like if, if you want to show up in a space that is, you know, like an activism space, right? That's doing the work. That's not being on the sidelines. That is showing up, saying, "What can I hold? You know, what signs can I hold? What can I do? How can I? How can I? How can I get involved in that? You know, if you're going to like a, you know, like a, um, uh, a, a parade, or a protest, um, some kind of a, a demonstration or whatever, where pe they're, they've called for people to join and have invited allies to the conversation or to that particular event, you go and you show up and you support that." For those that are so inclined, you are welcome to show up and, and, and participate in that way. I think where the rubber meets the road is, and we've talked about this a lot, and I'm not going to steal a lot of thunder because I'm sure, Crow, you're going to like put the nail I in the coffin I... on this one. <laughs> it's in the it's in the play spaces. It's in yes. the play spaces where we have problems with y'all. <laughs> so when it, when it comes to being an ally in the workplace in the workplace join your lgbtqia plus ergs you know if you don't if you don't know if your company has one ask them if they got one and then join that one um look for opportunities for you to participate you know in your local community look for you know people that are you know that are thriving to support their 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 businesses you can be an ally just by Gwen, listening to this podcast and sharing it with yeah. your friends and family. Like, mm -hmm. there are so many ways for non queer, and I'm just using it as an umbrella term, um, non LGBTQIA plus individuals to demonstrate their allyship. And I'm going to kick it over to Auntie Carell to <laughs> bring us home with what you bring should be home. doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you guys said it well, and probably way better than I'm going to say it right now. It, it is a lot of times it is a play space, but even getting before the play space, I need the habitual nature of you showing up as an ally. And we know what an ally is speaking up when, in rooms where we're not there and being an advocate for our community. 
So once you do that on a habitual nature, then we're more likely to be like, okay, I've seen you do the work. I've seen the energy that you give for our community and sticking up for us and your voting history, by the way, as well <laughs> against communities like ours. If you, if you want to come and play, then don't vote against us mm -hmm. point blank in the period. Like I have nothing else <laughs> to say on that point. So I, I think a lot of times there's an energy that comes where it's genuine that you really care about our community. And it comes across in the play area as well, because you are already know you already know how to be respectful. You already know how to navigate the, the the room. You already know how to talk to us. You know you don't have to show out and kick down the boot house. Yes, ma'am. Oh, girl. Yes, honey. But you don't, you know that that's not all the energy is all the time. And so so for me, where I struggle is always those ones that come in come into. The, even if it's not the play spaces that just suck the fucking energy away. And like you said, make it focus on them. This is not your space. We did not come here for that. We could go to the 99% of, of other spaces in the world for that. Yeah. We came here specifically to, to not have to deal with that. And so it's just like, that's where I was just struggling to have the visceral reactions anymore. And it gets, it's getting worse and worse the, the older I get for some reason. So, so the, so even in the play spaces, again, just know where you're at. Jarrell, you nailed it. It's like, you know where you're at. Acknowledge people. Don't push people aside because you're, especially for females, think you have the right of way to the bar. You could do that to some straight dudes. Don't do that to us. Or if you are with your friends, maybe we'll let you go ahead of us, but just read the room. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you know? And so, so. But I, 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 I just need the 360 of it. I just don't need you to do, want to come to the bar spaces or the play spaces or whatever and then do nothing else. Because yeah. that, that shit is so lame. That shit is so tiring. And and for you to think that that we're okay with it, that and that it's okay to do, is so disrespectful to me. Well, and it goes um, it goes both ways because there is a difference between appreciation and appropriation. And, that, and straight people as allies feel so like empowered to take on you know like gay affectations and this you know the yes mama or... gods and the, you know tongue pops <laughs> and all this kind of like i'm a, i'm a you know the accessibility of the culture that yeah. um that the the diverse culture that makes up the lgbtqia experience you know there's this desire to pick and choose these things yeah. that you know that that you co-op and you emulate and you aren't from this culture you aren't part of ballroom your dips may whether they are crunchy or not do not have a place at the bar no i mean and you standing on the chairs now you hooping and hollering if you There's can tell the place i get that's it. a different story because Damn. i'm not gonna lie i don't care if you gay you straight you gotta ask you can make it bounce bitch you part yeah, of the you family right, you, right I mean, you know but <laughs> it'd be, right it be the people that be like it you it, literally in a stand-up bar, they're playing a song. You saw a lip sync performance on RuPaul's Drag Race, and now you're trying to do a dip and duck walk in a fucking bar, and there's a gazillion people. But because you're surrounded by your girlfriends, you you think that that's okay? No, that ain't okay. Honey, there's bigger queens in here than you. Maybe that's my statement. There are bigger queens in here yeah. than you. <laughs> but I love so, I love the 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 sentiment of this question because yeah, it's I really getting to the root of well, you know, like. What can I do? And I think yeah. Jarrell, you, well, both, you know, Jarrell and Carell, you both hit it on the head. Like there is so much that you can do. And certainly consistency is key, you know? So it's not just about doing that one thing. It's not just about going to that one place, you know, but it's, it's about integrating, it's about integrating um, an equitable point of view regardless yeah. of identity into your own being. And that's, that does mean speaking up in different places. It does mean, you know, like um, participating in some level of, of social activism to the degree that you feel comfortable and that, that's, part, that's within your wheelhouse. Because, you know, not all of us are meant to be on the front lines. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that you know, for things that, you know, for not all things, let me put it that way. 
So you, you got to find this stuff out, but like supporting, supporting your queer folks. If they've got businesses and whatnot, or they've got side hustles and whatnot, support them, write them a LinkedIn review, like, you know, write them a, a review on their, on their website or share their information with, with the people that you're like, there are so many ways outside of the bar scene for individuals to show up as an ally. And I feel like a lot of people who aren't in our community think allyship is being invited to the sacred spaces. I want to be part of the mm -hmm. conversations where things are really being talked about and da, 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 da. And that's not where you start. That's, that is no, the gift. That's a good sentence. That is the gift that you get as, as a demonstration or as a, as that is a gift for your <clears throat> demonstration of consistency as an ally. You do get invited to those safe spaces because yeah. you know how to act. But most of y'all don't know how to act. And those spaces aren't for y'all because there's a little bit of boot camp that y'all need to go through in order to be eligible uh, oh for those kind of spaces. Because we're not, like, I feel like, I just feel so disrespected when they just think we're just a bachelorette party. Yeah. Like, and maybe that's what, it, like, my life is not a bachelorette party. Yes, there may be points, but for you to just think that our spaces is just that. There's something that just like rubs me the fucking wrong way every fucking time. And I don't know if it makes me feel diminished. I don't know if it's like some childhood trauma, something that comes up, but I don't know what it is, but I feel disrespected. And you know what's wild and, is that we all have straight friends, like mm -hmm. not just like that are core to like like that are yeah. within our core group so it's not like we're Absolutely. you know like just you know three queers that are talking about you know, that only live in right. queer queer circles you know right. with the exception of when they go to work like that is not the case and i think that we can all agree i mean Jarrell from just from a sports perspective i mean not to single you know you out but like you know i know oh, well that doesn't <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> I had to you know, do a little I had to equal. I had to equalize, Equal it equalize the, the shade. But you, but Jarrell, like who has been in you know in in competitive sports, have have coached and and been in Coach, these spaces. Yeah. You know, you have so much, um, so many interactions with people outside of like the the quote unquote like you know office setting. Um, yeah. You know that where you have people who are straight that our allies and have become really good trusted confidants. And then, you know, of course, you know, the same thing for you. So I, I'm just saying this to say that like, this is not coming from a space of like, oh, we only operate and move right. within gay spaces and we don't want y'all in here. No, we are the walking embodiment of exactly what it is that we're talking about. So, yeah. you know, it is possible. And I love this question. And I think more people need to be not only asking this question, but listening to the actual advice that we're giving and implying it in their day-to-day -day lives. Okay, I'd like yeah. to add my last point. <clears throat> and that's a reminder, in those spaces, I don't give a fuck if your song comes on, you still stay in character, Shut bitch. Up. And with <laughs> that, we can wrap it up. And with that, we can wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for sending this question, because, and honestly, for you to care to send in this question like yeah. this mm -hmm. shows that you at least on the right track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you might you might get a you might be able to you know tag along to maybe one event now. So, <laughs> but continue to send your ask your aunties questions, and again, it could be any topic, any topic to aya at minorityreport dot com or DM us or hit us on the T line just like Wynn did. And what's that number, Drill? <laughs> <laughs> well, he cheated and put it up on here, but it's 844-832-5463. Again, that is 844-T-LINE, 844-832-5463. And that's like an inside joke that we were cracking up before we hopped on tonight. Like, I can't remember that number for shit. <laughs> and then we were, we were touching Jarrell to see if he knew it, because Dewan usually give us the number. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, that was a good one. That was but, a really um, good one. I missed Ashley Aunties. I missed I it. I know. Y'all need to ask the aunties a lot more. Right? Right? But um, let's see here. I know we're kind of running long here, but uh, obviously the WNBA Finals just wrapped up. Stole. Fire series. Like Kelly Rowland said, stole. The stole. Ooh, damn, it kind of was, right? It was stole. Uh, Brianna Stewart kind of traveled. She kind of walked. Traveled. <laughs> yes, she did. And that wasn't a foul and either. And it wasn't a foul. <laughs> and it wasn't a foul. Yeah. <laughs> 
No. And and for all those sport people out there, we keep it short, keep it brief, who be like, oh, one shot does not determine the whole game. And this, yes, it does. And yes, it can. <laughs> yes, it can. No, no, no. Yes, it can. Because the, the, the truth is, part of sports is making mistakes, right? That is part of sports. No one goes out there, bats a thousand, hits a uh, hundred percent, gets 50 out of 50. That never happens. So there will always be mistakes in sports. When it comes to calls, okay, if you have someone who is job is to be by like to be not to be fair, okay, to be completely fair and neutral, and that's not the case, yes, it does matter. And when you see it being one sided, there is no way that there were 20 plus fouls to Minnesota and only nine to the Liberty. The whole game, bitch, come on now. <laughs> No, 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 no. That is, no, no. So it does matter. It does matter. And especially when you are the at the titles on the game and we are seconds away from the end, <laughs> you're really not supposed to be acting like that's that. that. That's that home state uh, bitterness coming out right now. You know, you know, <laughs> baby, you know, baby, you know, <laughs> baby, you know. Oh, yeah, no, but eh, yeah, that was, a, that was a tough way for it to come down to for sure. But, Pro WNBA won, and I'm glad that folks got to see a series like that on that kind of a level, that many eyes on it. I'm glad mm. the WNBA decided to opt out, or not the W, the players decided to opt out of their current uh, um, clause. Mm -hmm. So at the end of next season, they're able to renegotiate these contracts about how much yeah. they're getting paid, facilities, mm -hmm. all that. Because yeah. obviously the WNBA just signed a new deal this year and got some new coin. So, okay, if you're going to up that contract, you need to up ours as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that they, mm -hmm. they said, nope, nope, nope. We know there's a lot of uh, eyes on us now. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. So I, I enjoy seeing this league grow the way it has uh, this season. It's been, it's been and really cool to see. And shout out to <laughs> the men in the NBA, too, who showing also up stood up out. and showed up, showed out, and <laughs> who also – Agree that that shit was not a foul either. Oh, LeBron James, <laughs> Damon Little as well too, yeah. all went on on social media and was like that was a bullshit ass call wow. and it shouldn't have been called to begin with. Like yeah. people knew that shit was stolen, and that's but because that, of Spike that, again, Lee. No, Spike Lee paid for that championship. I don't give a fuck. Give game, that. Give like them an Spike asterisk. So I'll let. <laughs> this is a COVID dope, weight at though. this point, as, but, as far as I'm concerned. But Put it's that over dope to see that many people care. People weren't talking about missed calls like that last year or the last 10 years or last 25 years, you know? So I enjoy even the social aspect of it, of people chiming in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, people are invested. Love it because these, these girls are balling. I mean, let me <laughs> be fair. Let me be, let, me be, let me be fair because, again, no. my hometown, you know, ha is tied for the most WA NBA championships, okay, with the Storm and... Uh, the Aces? Phoenix. Phoenix, yes, with Phoenix, okay? So I've been a WNBA fan for quite some time, just to put that out there. People care. When the first people season cared. it was out there. People As care a, then. It just happens that more people are watching now. Yeah, more and people that's, are watching. That's, that's the truth. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, people have always cared, but yeah, I mean, but not that, not this many. <laughs> yeah, you're right, oh, not this many. So. I have one thing to say. Sports. <laughs> I love it. The NBA is back. It's the last season of Inside the NBA at TNT. Probably my favorite show on TV. That saddens me because their deal, they decided not to go back with Warner and TNT is part of Warner. So this is probably going to be the last season, at least, that we see this iteration of Ernie, Kenny, Chuck, and Shaq. Yeah. And, and they're so hilarious. I, I, we I like on. them. I like them. It's That's... the best show on TV. The, yeah. It, literally, no other sports show could get that camaraderie. No. Everyone mm -hmm. tries for every mm -hmm. sport. Yeah, and there's something about it those just, four. It just works. Yeah, and so it sucks to see that the NBA made that decision, and it's impacting something that's so part of the NBA culture. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they find a way. But even then, it's still even people in behind the producers, the cameramen, the the camaraderie that they built for decades of that team. That uh, after this season is gone, and so that that saddens me a lot because that's all I've watched for basketball is like I watched that show for my whole life, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, and you can kind of already sense it from the first episode tonight that we're recording that they know it's the last one. So they're, they're putting their all into it, as they usually do. But, damn, that's the, that's the elephant in the room right now. 
Not the Ellie, but the elephant <laughs> in the room right now. Um, and then shout out, uh, we'll maybe end here. The, uh, out 100 was released. Shout out to Tony. Hey, boo. Yay. Hey, boo. Yay. Using the Out 100, boo. <laughs> Ow. Um, and Cynthia Revo is like the, the one that's on the cover. So that's dope to see. So one day your auntie's going to be up in that list. Watch. You're right. Yes. You're right. Hey. Ow. And, and Ow. will. And will. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh, and we, you know, it's right before the election. So how are we feeling? This is the last episode before, <laughs> before we know what happens. My booty hole is clenched. I'm not going to lie. I know exactly how I'm voting. I know, I mean, obviously there's no secret in terms of what's at stake here. Um, but this is the season finale of the United States of America. Like, oh. bitch, this can go any which way. So, my booty hole's yeah. clenched. Yeah. I'm trying not to think about it. Honestly, I get sick to my stomach thinking sick. about it. And I can't help but to think about 2016. Like, I just, I, I just, oh, I can't. that's still traumatized. And I can see myself clear as day. Remember Same. sitting on my floor drinking a bottle of vodka when Homeboy won back in 2016. I didn't and even stay I up just, for it. <laughs> And I and honestly, I just I can't I can't I I, 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 I can't and there's just too much on on the line. I, I don't I'm done. I'm done. Like it's, I, I'm just so tired, especially of black folks saying what Kamala hasn't done or isn't going to do or ain't going to do when the other option, you know, he ain't going to like shut the fuck up. Uh, that's it bothers the shit out of me yeah like i get it just give her a fucking chance at least yeah like that like it's it's the imbalance of the criticism for me though like that's what that's what burns my britches because you know it's like they're holding which we experience all the time as black queer individuals you know like there is a different set of rules for people who are not white And like, it's ridiculous that, you know, like a narrative about her switching up her accent, right? But we not talking about all the felonies that you got. We not talking about, you know, you know, all these women that have accused you of rape. We not talking about like the real important shit. Like you don't even, you, you have a concept of a plan, but you don't have a plan. But also, how you gonna be about here. how you gonna be about the community and been like, well, you know, Kamala's not doing this, but oh boy, has n- been known to hate us, okay? Yeah. Like with the Central Park Five, right? Like yeah. the billboard paying for ha- to have them arrested, and then uh, then still saying that they did it last week yeah. at a rally, still claiming that they fucking did it, and you want to focus on her, but you're not giving him that smoke. If you really gave a fuck, if you really gave a fuck, you would do whatever to make sure the person who has actively gone against our people, you would make sure that that person isn't the one that wins. You so focus up on what someone hasn't done, but you ain't paying attention to what someone has actually done. Right. Yeah, that part. Yep. And look at look at the celebrity you know, <laughs> endorsements <laughs> that he has. Like these are not political pundits. These are not learned individuals. <laughs> These are crumb bums and, and not even D-listers. Let's be clear. So... And look at the professional ones. They ain't none. Like his own damn cabinet, his own VP, his own... Like it's... I, I just don't get it. And, and, I, and again, we need to remind folks, you're not supposed to really be in love with your president. That so if that's what you hoping from Kamala, you're going to be sorely ha- heartbroken. That's not what she's there for. And there's nothing that one person is going to be able to do 100%. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> even if you thought so, you're not going to agree. There's no one in your life you agree with 100%. Nope. No that's way. Right. Nope. That's right. nope. <laughs> so what the mm-hmm. fuck is this like high ex- high ass expectation coming out the blue? So just, just so at question. least we know that she's not going to destroy everything that we've worked for centuries and generations of black, brown, and minority yeah. groups. Yeah. She's not going to destroy that. 
yes, there's always things she can work on. I get it. And we'll hold her feet to the fire when we get her in. But for now, shut the fuck up for all this criticism and thinking that vote. the other option and Jill Stein ain't the option neither. She ain't no. even held no office. She's like barely a third grade teacher. And that, and that's not no shade to teachers because teachers be doing the damn thing. Yeah, but like she right. has no higher office. Yeah. Yeah. No high office in her career. So that's not a legit third party. So aunties, okay? what are you doing election day? What is your Working. plan for election day? Working. Working. And, and I'm a record with my aunties. Yeah, no, we go. We moved it to that Wednesday. Cause... We moved it to that Wednesday. Oh Lord, yeah. damn! I gotta find something else. To That's do. what I'm trying to figure out. No key, because I'm like, oh, do I, you know, do I take the day off of work? But then it's like, what the fuck am I gonna do all goddamn day? Because I, I honestly wanted to like, I didn't even want to be in the country, but mm -hmm. my Same. little dumbass decided to renew my passport. And I still haven't got it back yet. I am struggling because my ass would have been gone. I wouldn't have been even in ta in the country for any at least Damn, for a week. Taking that loss since we talked take, about it. Yes, you yes. Oh, mine came back in two. I weeks. know, and crazy. based off of what you told me, I went ahead yeah. and did this. So I'm pissed at you too. <laughs> I'm just funny. <laughs> well, you had to get it done before next year anyway. I, I have so. to get it done anyway. But, you know, it, hopefully it should be coming sometime soon. But damn, like, yeah, you know, like crazy. they really say it, it's th six, uh, six to eight weeks. So, like, I'm just saying that for I want the whole reason for me to get it done this early, because it doesn't really yeah. renew until like the end of January. So I do have some time. But still, yeah. I wanted to get the fuck out of Dodge. I wanted to have something yeah. booked. I wanted to be, you know, somewhere on a beach where I couldn't even get reception, maybe even be on a cruise. You know, they ain't never got reception on them Ooh, motherfuckers. Right. That, you know? Now that's you know what? I right. actually might go for a hike. I actually might go in the woods. <laughs> Just come back. Man of the woods, it's my right. <laughs> no, I, no, I, ain't doing, I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all Bring that. that on, so I ain't, all I, yeah, I ain't doing all yeah, that. No, I'm going to have a regular ass day. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to work. Yeah. Obviously, I'll probably work from home that day, actually, even though I normally go in those that day. I'll probably work from home. I'm going to go to the gym, come back, go vote, because I wanted to vote in person that day. Yeah. I wanted to be out there, just kind of see the energy, mm -hmm. work. I know Corey's gonna be because that's his day off. I know he's gonna be glued to the TV. So I try to avoid Corey because he's probably gonna movies. be yelling at the TV. I think that would be a good. Maybe do like a double header at the movies, like you know, like work a little bit of the day and then go to the movie. So I don't even have to be like tempted yeah. to like walk by a television or turn it on or whatever. The thing of it is, they're never gonna announce it that night anyway. No. So it's it's no. going to spill over. And um, I mean, it, it could be a landslide. It could be a blue wave. Put that I out there in the so. universe, <laughs> and yeah, and they lock that shit down that night. That yeah. would be my hope. Ooh, community, is she locked that shit down that night? Ooh, Lord Jesus, that's orgasmic, damn near. Baby, <laughs> we'll be go, bringing I'm out the tambourines, right <laughs> we'll hundred the tambourines. We might hop on a live dancing. on Insta something. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So, but again, I, I I mean, at this point, by the time this episode comes out. Maybe there's a few states that you can still register, but I think those a lot of those deadlines are kind of gone. Yeah, just double check. I double checked mine yesterday again for myself and Corey to make sure it's still good. We're good, and yeah. So yeah. Anyway, all right. Well, community, hopefully, staying away from McDonald's and the Trump McDonald's giving you E. coli and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> anything else on your heart and minds? <laughs> nah. That's Love y'all. That's all, babies. Love y'all. And community, we love you too, boobs. And uh, wash your hands, your legs, and your ass. Go vote. Go yes. vote. Go vote. See you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, everybody.